This video is about ionic basis of cardiac action potentials. Basically there are two types. One is a slow response type and other is a fast response type. The slow response type is seen in the pacemaker cells. The fast response is seen in the contractile cells like atrium and the ventricular cardiomyocytes. In a pacemaker cell, the threshold for firing action potential is around minus 40 millivolts. So whenever the cell reaches the threshold, it fires an action potential which is characterized by a slow depolarization. So once the cell comes back towards the resting membrane potential that is around minus 60, there is a gradual automatic depolarization towards the threshold again without any external stimulus. So this gradual automatic depolarization reaches the threshold and another action potential is fired. So this component is called as the pacemaker potential which is responsible for the autorhythmicity of uh, pacemaker tissue. In a contractile cell, there is a flat resting membrane potential unlike the pacemaker tissue which doesn't have a flat resting membrane potential by the time it comes it automatically depolarizes. Whereas the contractile cell has a flat resting membrane potential, there is a fast depolarization and then there is an early repolarization, there is a plateau and then late repolarization occurs, again resting membrane potential occurs. So now we are going to discuss the ionic basis of these two action potentials. Let's start with the contractile cell action potential. So we will choose the ventricular uh, myocyte action potential. It has a distinct plateau and uh, the duration is around 200 to 300 milliseconds. The resting membrane potential is around minus 90. The threshold for action potential is slightly less negative than this. So whenever there is a small depolarization, the ions coming through gap junctions will cause opening of large amount of sodium channels and cause this fast depolarization which will go up to plus 20 or so. So this is due to voltage gated sodium channels opening NAV. And there is an early repolarization which happens immediately immediately once the sodium channels closes there is a repolarization happens this is called as uh, phase one this is called as phase zero and this is called as a phase one this is due to movement of potassium outside or sometimes chloride ion moving inside so this particular ion currents are called as ITO that is transient outward current TO stands for so after this phase of early repolarization, there is a phase of plateau which is characterized by calcium channels opening that is L type calcium channels open and then uh, causes calcium entry inside the cell. The calcium entry inside the cell is balanced by the potassium going out, out of the cell. So the membrane potential here is not going to fluctuate much, it is going to stay in the same line around 0 millivolt or so it stays in a flat line and after sometimes this calcium channels closes once it closes now the potassium ion going outside is unopposed this will bring the membrane to resting membrane potential so this is called as phase 2 that is a plateau phase and this is the phase 3 that is a late repolarization and this is the phase 4 this is the resting membrane potential so in summary Phase 0 is characterized by voltage gated sodium channels opening, fast voltage gated sodium channels. Phase 1 is characterized by a transient outward current we call it as ITO. This is due to uh, potassium channels and opening of chloride ion, chloride channels. Potassium ion goes outside and the chloride ion coming inside. So both are called as outward current the direction of current is the direction of movement of positive ions so, so it's a transient outward the transient stands for it stays only for a short period of time phase 2 is the plateau phase here l type calcium channels open and then uh, delayed type of uh, delayed rectifier type of potassium channels open so these two are going to balance out each other that is calcium entering inside the cell and potassium going outside the cell through the delayed rectifier channel. They are going to balance and the voltage stays at zero for some point of time. 
phase 3 is characterized by late reporosation here the reason is the calcium channel closes now the potassium channels are unopposed potassium goes outside resulting in repolarization and 4 is the resting membrane potential now let's move to the pacemaker action potential the pacemakers don't have a, a stable resting membrane potential so uh, the risk the threshold for firing action potential is around minus 40 millivolts it's here whenever there is a depolarization which reaches the threshold value an action potential is fired the action potential comes like this and as it repolarizes it comes up to minus 60 so we call this value as maximum depolarization it's not a resting membrane potential so maximum depolarization from this point it gradually depolarizes and reaches this threshold so the current involved here are first one is that hyperpolarization activated cyclic nucleotide gated cation channel hcn channel in short this is also referred to as uh, funny sodium channels or funny current this is because most of the voltage gated sodium channels or any voltage gated channels they open during depolarization whenever there is a small depolarization they open more but these channels whenever there is a hyperpolarization they open and then sodium ion enters inside so this is referred as funny behavior of the channels so these are named as funny sodium channels the funny sodium channel current brings the membrane potential towards minus 50 at minus 50 one more type of ion channels open they are t type of calcium channel that is transient opening open the calcium channel this brings the membrane potential further towards minus 40 at minus 40 this is the threshold for action potential here l type of calcium channels open which results in depolarization and then the repolarization is due to potassium ions so again the cell gradually comes back towards minus 60 and then the hcn channels open and then it goes again so this goes on and on without any external stimulus this gives the uh, rhythm generation capacity of the pacemaker cells so this contains basically uh, only three phases one is a uh, phase four phase zero and other is phase three the phase one and two there is a early repression in the plateau phase which we saw in the previous action potential is not here and the phase four is the resting membrane potential in a ventricular myocyte whereas in a pacemaker tissue this is the pacemaker potential composed up of the hcn channels uh, it's a sodium channels and there is a calcium channels which is of t type and followed by the phase zero which is l type calcium channel opens and uh, reposition is due to potassium ions which are going outside the cell thank you